Bam. Let's do this. The depths. I hate this so fucking much. It's the worst. Like, I just... I don't... I don't like it. I hate the depths. I hate him, hate him, hate him, hate him, hate him, hate him, hate him. I just got stuck in a loop there. Missed! Nice going, asshole. The worst part about the depths are, when you first enter this area, you have, like, a feeling of hopelessness. You don't know where to go or what to do. And thankfully, with my help, and wise death instructions, I hate those Fargo's so much. Oh, I picked up a miracle, by the way. Heal. I thought, you know what, maybe that would be best. Um, because for this part it's quite easy to get hurt. As you just saw, I got spammed by Mr. Fire. There's two ways you can go. You can go down here. And face... Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Fuck. Uh oh. <laughs> Fucking dogs. I hate these dogs so much. Just keep constantly moving around and shit. There he is. Scared me, big fella. I can't believe that. He skewered me towards him and then... Stupid. Okay, so this is a butcher. Um, his main attacks include the overhead, which is that, which can do quite a surprising amount of damage. Uh, a scoop and stab. Um, a few swings, both with both of his weapons. There really isn't much else to him. He can drop a sack. Sounds a little... Oh, I just like punched my laptop. Sounds a little weird, but he can drop a sack. And that's pretty much it. He's rather easy to beat. It's nothing too special. But what we're going to do is walk down here. For a very specific reason. Got another one. Don't have my broadsword with me, do I? As you can see, he kind of just hits you and all the same. He doesn't really have any variety of attacks. They can hurt. Um, I just got my dick cut off. And you always want to try to keep your distance because. You don't want to die in this area. It's really not fun to get back. I didn't dodge. I did not press circle. Well, I did, but I pressed it literally like five seconds before. Do you know how fucked that is? And I got his sack. Sounds so weird, but you know what? Doesn't do fuck all except for... Got a sack on your head. And I actually never got this sack for the first two or three times in my playthrough. You. See. A friend in need. That is. What's his name? Laurentius of the Great Swamp. And he actually teaches you pyromancy. He's kind of like, um. Hmm. Kind of like Sage Frake, I guess, in a way. 
Yeah, I would probably say so, except Sage Frake's harder to to free. We're not going to go that way just yet. There is a reason for that. What we're going to do is we're have to lure this dog. Really? Still alive? God. Enemy just there. Blew him as well. That's, it. That's a good boy. Dead. I believe there's one more dog. Yep. Like, how fucked is that? It just dodges, that's it. It's all it does. It doesn't, it's not hard, it just infuriates me. Because I just want to absolutely annihilate the dog, but you can't because he keeps doing this stupid dodge. Um, drop down here, and you'll land on a pile of skulls. We'll meet. I mean, Mr. Happy Rat. Who is a happy rat? Oh, this is gonna take a while. Do I have a firebomb, maybe? What do I have that'll hurt him? Charcoal pine resin. Not gonna do much damage. Go across to the end here, pick up a spider shield. We'll need this for the next few parts, because it just... It slowly... Um, stops your... It gives you more resistance to poison attacks. Which, trust me, is worth it. Alright, I'm going to coat my sword in this. Maybe not. God, so stupid. I didn't jump on him. This is fucking... This was the worst idea ever. Are you fucking kidding me? Still hit him. Should go in there, balls to the wall. He did not. How are you fucking ignoring my shield? You little shithead. God, that is so annoying. Fucking pisses me off. It's the worst enemy in the game. Giant rat. Really? What were they thinking? Hey, if you can't hate rats more, let's just chuck a giant one in the equation. That'll make people happy. Hey! <sighs> okay, so around the corner we'll find curse frogs, which are a pain in the ass. They really are. They're in terms of melee, they're quite easy to beat. Um, but the curse is just so... Anytime you see a spiky dude like that, yeah, it's a character who's been cursed. And they died. Just to let you know. We're gonna put some personal on this guy. That's the curse steam. Uh, you'll get like a little... Oh, I killed him. You get like a little, um, skull pop up. That means you're being cursed. Their weakness is their backside. Especially when they do that attack, because they really can't. 
you know, defend themselves when they're doing it. It's a constant attack unless they get interrupted. Uh, and just to let you know, there's another player who's been cursed. Those large eyeballs on the front, and actually it's real eyes. They are fake eyeballs. They drop eyes of death, which is actually quite handy. Um, you need them to level up in the Grave Lord's Covenant. I don't really want to get cursed too much. First time I went through the depths area, I was kind of really paranoid about these guys. The last thing I wanted to do was verse one of them. But even in groups of three or four, they're really not as hard as people make them out to be. The black ones are a pain in the ass. And see, I'm being cursed. It is an instant kill, curse. However, it's not an instant status problem. Like, you will have time to get out of there. And your curse resistance will automatically increase the more you level up. Uh, there's an Eye of Death. Here's another one up here. Um, you can also have armor and rings that increase your resistance to set status effects. Which, believe it or not, are so extremely useful that it's almost like a must-have. There's more Cursed Frogs than when I first played this game. They've patched a lot of stuff. Because I only burst about six going through this whole area. And I never once got an Eye of Death. Run around the back here for a ring. The ring of the Evil Eye. And equip it. The Ring of the Evil Eye pretty much just heals your HP for the more enemies you kill. Um, which, believe it or not, even though it might be just a tiny bit, it's so worth it. And we got to try and find how to get away from these sewers. Uh, I think we will continue up here. We better be careful, because I think there's a drop. Yeah, no, I can't go that way. I can't get that thing anyway. Please don't tell me I've forgotten where to go. See, I avoided the depths on my playthroughs. I d it wasn't necessary for me to go through them, so... There was literally no point. I didn't need any special equipment. Is that a rat? What the fuck, man? That is a big rat too, actually. And if you're in human form... Keep, keep an eye out for these boxes here. Oh, here's a mini rat. Here's a larger rat. There you go. Kirk. He's kind of a pushover. Don't worry too much about him. He can hurt you quite bad, but he's weak to fire. And prone to backstabs. But I'm getting bombarded. So I have to run for now. Because that rat will kill me otherwise. Here comes a smaller rat. Not worried about them. The only thing I'm really worried about is Kirk. Hmm, okay. I'm going to end the part here. Hopefully I don't get ambushed by Kirk or any of those sludge monsters. If I am, or if I do get ambushed, then I'm going to be pretty pissed off. Because I don't know exactly how... How quick or fast or... Wet. What the fuck? What the hell, man? I'm running. I'm running. Whatever. Get up! For fuck's sake. Everything's not going right today.